guys, it's finally here. I'm not getting stuck in my hair. I'm not stalling. I promise. I'm not stalling. I suggest this book. I'm not gonna let that stop us from having a good day. You want to be a city girl, like you want to move to a city. Let's do it. My hair never has volume in its entire life except for the two seconds after I wake up. My alarm went off at 6.30 this morning. It is 8.09 right now. So that's kind of embarrassing. I kept snoozing my alarm and I was having this dream about this house that had like all these secret passageways in it. I don't know what that means, but I have weird dreams all the time. Each time I just like kept falling asleep, like the dream just like kept going. Anyway, we're gonna have a productive fun day. Let's do it. We don't have any espresso. <laughs> well, we're gonna improvise. We're gonna improvise. I just took a shower and washed my hair and I want to do a little bit of makeup for today. Honestly, we are getting a late start because I kept sleeping in this morning, but we're not going to let that stop us from having a good day. The rest of the day, I need to clean up my room a little bit. I need to do some job application stuff. I need to complete this online training certificate program thing for one of the influencer networks that I'm a part of. It's like a campaign manager, I guess. It's basically a platform that I use to apply for campaigns. It's called Influencer Collective. I love them so much, but they recently updated their entire... Oops, sorry. <laughs> they recently updated their entire platform, got a new website and stuff. So I need to set up my account on there to make sure I can keep using it, which is exciting. I'm using the e.l.f. Halo Glow. I literally look how empty this is. <laughs> Yeah, I need to buy a new one of these. I thought we could be adventurous today and go work on those things at a coffee shop. I know that doesn't sound very adventurous or very exciting, but it is for me because I've not been venturing out into the world if I'm by myself recently. The place that I live right now, I've only lived here since graduating college, so for like eight, nine months now. The reason that I haven't lived here before, like this is not where I grew up, is we sold my childhood home, like where I grew up while I was in school. And for the last two years, I've lived at school, like for summers, for the entire year like I never came back home I just lived at school the whole time so I don't know this area like it's just not a place that I have any connections here or anything every single time that I've gone out in this area by myself or with another woman with me I have had really uncomfortable situations with men coming up to me I don't want to make this like a serious vlog <laughs> but it's Literally the reason why I, ha I don't just like go out and be like, oh, I'm going to walk to the coffee shop because I can count on one hand the number of times that hasn't happened to me. You might be thinking, Bella, like you want to be a city girl, like you want to move to a city. 
this is something that happens, which obviously you are absolutely right. There are not a lot of people who live here. There's not a lot of business. Just in general, there just aren't a lot of people. So whenever I am going somewhere, walking somewhere, while I'm walking, the only person that's out and about in the street is gonna be me and the guy who <laughs> won't leave me alone. Like, I wanna go get my dirty chai latte, for God's sakes. Like, I wanna just go out and work on my computer and do that. And that is something I always felt comfortable doing at school because there's so many people around. And if I was in a bigger city, I think I would feel even more comfortable than I am here simply because there would be people in the street besides just me and one other person. And I know that that doesn't stop things from happening, obviously. So yeah, anyway, all that to say, I wanna go to a coffee shop and work today. And I'm gonna challenge myself Let's do the rest of our makeup. dried my hair we're looking cute and we are just gonna rip the band-aid off I feel really silly saying this but I like to be honest with you guys it it's just uncomfortable and I, I just need to do it and I'm going to do it and it's gonna be fine nothing bad will happen and then I will get to enjoy a nice little treat be able to get some work done in a different environment which I think is gonna be very very good for my mental health and that's always a bonus Okay, I need to stop stalling. I'm, I'm not stalling anymore. I'm not stalling. I promise. I'm not stalling. You in the backyard and you're all fine in the summer. Hey, how are you? Um, could I just do the ice cream? Could I just do the ice cream? Skip to the present. You guys, we did it. It's like three o'clock right now. Um, so I was there for like two and a half hours ish. Honestly, I've been home for like a couple minutes just watching TikTok because I didn't have any energy. We did it. Honestly, I had such a nice time. I just walked there. Um, I got my little drink. I got some lunch, which was really nice. It wasn't too crowded, which was perfect. So I could find a place to sit and it wasn't super loud or anything. And the vibes were very, very nice. I didn't have any bad experiences. I got honked at a couple times just walking down the street, minding my own business. A construction worker said something to me from across the road, but I just ran away. Honestly, I think it was a great success and I'm really glad that I did that for myself and got out of the house It was just nice to, like go outside be in a different environment and I was super super productive I got what did I do? I did that entire certification program thing that I needed to do which was helpful I knew all of it already. It was nice to have like a little refresher thing. What else did I do? Um, I answered all my emails. I submitted a couple campaign applications and then I also did a job application and wrote a cover letter for that and sent that in and honestly with that I'm really manifesting some interviews for some certain positions that I've applied for recently that I'm actually really excited about and I hope that I get to move forward with those but I haven't heard any communication really about them um so we'll just have to wait and see what happens with that and I'm actually waiting right now to get a package i've been like checking all day you know when you're like getting something in the mail and you're like watching the tracking it's supposed to come today and when it comes i want to try it it's actually the super super viral hot curling what is it called like a hot brush like the hair tool that's all over tiktok and 
I know. I was absolutely influenced, okay? I am weak. I have no self-control. I got so many targeted ads for that product over maybe the last two months, and I finally broke down and got it. And I'm really hoping that I like it, and I got it for a good price, so... I need to get rid of my curling iron because it absolutely does not work and hopefully this will replace it. I need to just do some quick tidying. I did not clean the kitchen this morning and I ran the dishwasher last night but I didn't empty it this morning so I need to do the dishes. Honestly, it looks kind of the same, but trust me, it's a lot better. I did all the dishes and cleaned the sink and stuff, so we are good to go. I did a quick little tidy of my room and I was getting hungry again so I just got myself a little apple and I could do more job applications and I realized that that is the productive thing to do but it's almost four o'clock my mom's gonna be home soon so I kind of want to just sit and relax for a little bit while I still have the house to myself which is really nice I'm having some pretty bad cramps right now they're honestly nothing compared to how they are when they're actually bad which is when I physically cannot move. Really not that bad right now. But I just want to sit down, take some more Advil, and read my book, honestly. So that's what I'm going to do. And I know I'm very lucky to have time to be able to do that. So I might as well enjoy it. In terms of books right now, I'm still reading Girls That Invest. I highly, highly suggest this book. I like to always have a self-help book or some, some kind of book that like teaches me something like this one. And then also a fun fantasy kind of escapism book as well it's very easy to understand you don't need to know like you don't need to be like good at math or like good at managing your money or anything to read it and it's for anyone that grew up without being taught a lot about like financial literacy and investing and everything it's super accessible and just an amazing book so you should definitely read it <laughs> and then on my kindle right now i'm reading it's called daughter of no worlds and i'm 85 percent done with it it's definitely good like the characters are super interesting and a little different than what i usually read the main male character um has a lot of mental health issues and ptsd which is super interesting to read about and kind of fun because i haven't really read a lot of books where the male main character is struggling with those things so that's super cool but it is like a slow burn romance like the romance is very backseat which is like i like books like that but i just haven't read one in a while so i'm getting a little impatient i'm like come on people like let's get this show on the road you know guys it's finally here so if you guys have been on tiktok you've seen this and honestly like i said like i've been getting so many freaking sponsored videos and stuff i've been influenced and i got it and honestly if it does not live up to my expectations i'm gonna be so mad nothing annoys me more than when people hype something up and it's not actually good and i hope i never do that <laughs> i ordered this from tiktok shop i have never in my life purchased something from tiktok shop before i was going to get it on amazon it was 45 dollars on amazon and i paid i think 26 dollars total with shipping and tax for it on tiktok shop let's open it and see 
I'm so excited. And then this is what it looks like. Okay, it is the one, or it looks like the one that I wanted. I've been waiting for this thing for way too long. I just have to like try it at least a little bit. Okay, I just plugged it in. It says off. I'm gonna take off the plastic wrap. Okay, I can feel it getting warm. Oh my gosh, I excited about this honestly i know this is gonna take me a long time to actually figure out how to use properly i really want to do a tiktok where i do it in the morning and then update every like hour or couple of hours to show if it's staying in my hair or not as someone who has hair that does not like to be curled i love this little like screen thing is actually quite cute okay it's 360 which is that's the temperature it's supposed to be i'm just gonna do this <laughs> and see if anything happens okay wait that's cute it feels a lot better than if I did that with a shrinker. Also, I don't have a mirror, so that's smart. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. It's not getting stuck in my hair at all. I have never gotten my hair to lay like that before, and I have tried so many times. Okay, obviously, this is not a good test of how well it actually performs. I'm not gonna lie, it's really fun. The way it looks like I actually have layers in my hair now, considering how this piece a bang looks versus this one i'd say there's a lot of potential here i'm gonna go make some leftovers hang out with my mom okay let's go do that Okay guys, it's 8.30 p.m. and honestly, I am ready to go to bed right now. I know I woke up late this morning, but I am just ready to lay down. My cramps are getting worse right now and all I want to do is lay down, but I know if I do that, I will not have the strength to get back up and brush my teeth, so I'm going to do it now. But I made those cookies that you guys saw. Those are from Aldi. They were definitely delicious, but there's something about the dough and I think there was something else we got from there that was also like a baked good thing that I did not like the dough it might have been another cookie honestly it didn't have flavor I don't know they were definitely still very delicious though and they had like little pieces of almond brittle I think which is very fun I'm using this Garnier micellar water this one is the gentle peeling water so it has glycolic acid in it it's really nice I really like this one and it doesn't have any feeling of like peeling or anything like I know it's called the peeling one but it really is just a nice gentle exfoliation it feels like it does a little bit more in terms of cleaning your face than just the basic micellar water one does I've had a nice Today, I'm excited. My mom has off from work tomorrow, so we're gonna do the really fun activity of completing our taxes together, <laughs> which is so silly to say, but nevertheless, that's what we're gonna do. And I'm very excited because after that, that means we will have filed them and I won't have to think about my taxes anymore. Oh, I should take some more ibuprofen. I got this little mini elf lash and brow serum actually as like an extra when I ordered something from the website and I have been using it for a while now, like maybe two or three months. I'm supposed to use it every morning and every night and I definitely have not been doing that. But honestly, I feel like I've noticed it doing a little bit of something. I know there's a lot of ones that have like super dramatic results and like make your, make your eyelids really dry and like definitely have something that like makes something happen in them, you know? And this one feels more like it's a nice nourishing kind of thing, like more like putting on your moisturizer on your skin at the end of the day kind of vibe but for your eyelashes. And honestly, I really like it. I feel like it hasn't made a huge visual difference, but I can tell that my lashes just feel healthier, if that makes sense. I don't know if I'm going to repurchase it, but I was glad to try it and I think it does something. Final step of the night routine we know the tub of off-brand vaseline that the label came off of it doesn't get better than that people 